Hello everyone and welcome. Today we're going to be doing an exciting little um, flower arrangement that we can use to display either on a coffee table or even outside. This is 100% uh, made of plants that are natural that can then be planted out into the landscape once you're later into the spring season or summer. Uh, today we're going to be using some beautiful tulips and some primrose. Both of these things are hardy in my zone. I plant in a zone 6A and uh, I hope you enjoy. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my basket and I'm going to line it with a garbage bag. And the reason for this is just so that it doesn't, the soil doesn't go through my basket and also so that um, the water won't destroy the basket as well. So the first thing I do is I place the bas the garbage bag into the basket like this. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna size up my pot and see how much soil I need to put in. I'm not making any holes in this plastic uh, for drainage. Reason being is that I'm just gonna be careful how I'm watering it because it is inside on my coffee table and I don't want to have the saucer or any water dripping out of it. So the tulips, I'm just going to actually take straight out of the pot and I'm going to put them into the center of this basket and then I'm going to fill with some soil around them. So as you can see, they have a nice root system on them. I'm not going to taste them or anything because the intention is they're only going to be here temporarily until they're able to be moved outside into the landscape. Now that I've achieved that, I'm going to take some potting soil. And you don't have to use expensive potting soil. Some people will, some people won't. It's entirely up to you and on about your budget. So this soil I just picked up at the dollar store. It's just a nice little potting mix and it seems to work pretty well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put some in here around the tulips, just like this. And I'm not gonna fill it up all the way because I still have to plant my primrose. So I hope everyone can see this well. So I am just basically just carefully pouring it. Now, one of my tulips has gone a little rogue here, so I'm just gonna hold that back. And then I'm gonna spread this around here, just like that. Now, I'm going to pop out a primrose. So one of the things you'll see on this particular primrose is you could see that it's kind of got a bit of a spent bloom there. So I'm just gonna pop that off, going down and just kind of pinching it off. And you could see there's already some nice new buds deep inside that primrose. So carefully, I'm going to pull it out and I'm going to make a little bit of a space here where I'd like to set it, and then I'm going to just pop it straight in. Um, right, and I'm just gonna push that little root ball right in there so it's nice and tight, and I'm gonna push some dirt up around the sides of it, just so it's planted in nicely. Also, one of the things you'll notice is I haven't cut my plastic bag yet, and the reason is, I'm gonna cut that carefully at the very end. I just wanna make sure that as I'm planting the plants, I'm not accidentally going to be pushing anything, um, any of the soil out. So I just wanna make sure it's nice and sturdy. Okay, so I'm gonna rotate this just so you can see. The next one I'm probably gonna place around here, and then the following one will go around here, just so they're evenly spaced out. And once again, I'm just gonna look over the plant. I've got a bloom here that is almost spent. That I'm just gonna pinch off. And I'm gonna carefully work this one out of the pot so it'll go root bound at the bottom. So I'm just gonna loosen those roots out so it can come out nicely. And this one has a lot of nice healthy roots on it. So we're just gonna take that carefully and we're going to set that inside the hole that I've already made. So I'm just going to push my tulip out of the way a little and just push that in nicely into the dirt. 
so it's level with the top of the basket. And then we're just going to set some dirt around it. Now, you'll notice that I do have some space in between. So one of the things you could do is, if you had wanted, you could get more primrose and you could actually place, um, or you can place another type of plant, like a trailer around. I'm actually leaving these spaces open. I'm gonna be placing some moss around the top. And then I actually have little cute ornaments, that decorative elements that I'm gonna be placing inside mine just for Easter. Uh, so I'll be putting some little rabbits because my kids like it, so why not, right? And well, the same thing, just gonna pull off that spent bloom right there. I hope you can see well. And again, this one has lots of nice blooms down inside. I don't know if you can see them there. So you can see there's some nice new blooms coming up. So once again, I'm just gonna kind of untangle the roots across the bottom, just to help make it easier for the roots to slide out of those holes. And I'm gonna grab that one, and I'm just gonna place it in the third opening that I have here. Okay. Just make sure my little garbage bag doesn't tuck in there too much. All right, so I've got my third one in there nicely. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my soil and using my hand, I'm just going to top it up here nicely with some dirt to make sure the root balls are covered and that way everything is nice and settled. And I do push it in just to make sure there's no air pockets. And after I will be watering it in just to make sure that the soil doesn't sink in anywhere. And if it does, we're just gonna fill it up to the top and just make sure that those root balls are nicely covered. Okay, so we're just gonna tuck that soil in there. I hope everyone can see well. Gonna rotate that. Up. And once again, just gonna lift up those leaves nicely and tuck it in well like that. Now, you might be wondering where I'm doing this. So I'm actually doing this on my dining room table. I have a nice plastic tablecloth that I just put down because not everyone has awesome potting sheds or places where they can do this. And I feel that gardening should be accessible to everyone. So cheap uh, tablecloth, plastic one from the dollar store works great. So you can just put it down on your tablecloth and then afterwards you can just fold it up, take it outside and just shake it off in the dirt or in, um, in the garden. So it works really well for that quick and easy cleanup and you don't have to stress about making a big mess. So now that I've finished planting those and filling it in with soil, I'm just going to take the some moss that I have. So again, this I just picked up actually at the Dollar Tree it's really cheap and inexpensive and we're just going to set it just on top around the primrose and in between the primrose i'm just lifting up the leaves just to make sure that i'm not covering up any of the leaves of the primrose because we don't want to damage our plants so i'm just going to tuck that in and i'm not going right up to the root balls i'm just going to just underneath because we don't want to smother the root ball. We don't want to go too close to the crown. Crown should always have some space because we don't want to promote crown rot. So same thing over here. We're just going to put this in and we're going to carefully push down the moss so it sits nicely in the way we like and we lift up those leaves. And then we're going to rotate again and we're going to do the same thing on this side. So again, you can see the actual crown is way over here and I'm keeping about an inch back from it just to help make sure that there isn't excessive moisture right up against the crown of the plant because when we add a medium like moss or um, wood chips or anything like that, you're retaining moisture and if you put them 
put them too close to the crown, what happens is the moisture that you're retaining is actually going to be damaging to the plant because you are going to create a rotting point because just like anything else, if you let it sit in water, it rots. So we wanna make sure that we are retaining moisture, but at the same time that we are not retaining it in, the, in a place that's gonna be damaging to our plants. We wanna help them, not hinder them. So just remember, always keep back away from the crown of your plant. And that's true when you're doing it outside as well. So when you do go to mulch, mulch is great protection for plants. But again, you don't want to go right up against the crown of the plants. So this is the completed basket. And I hope you enjoyed that. And like I said, in the spaces that are over here, I'm going to actually be planting or setting something really cute, a little tiny decorative uh, rabbit uh, just for Easter. So now that that part's done, the next thing we're going to do is we have this excessive bag and we don't want the garbage bag showing. So I'm going to very carefully make sure I push back the leaves of my plant and I'm going to carefully cut this back, cut the um, garbage bag right up to the rim of my basket. Okay, and if there's a little bit showing, you can always just kind of tuck it down under and just set the moss just slightly on top. It's not a big deal. So again, you just want to hold back the leaves of your plant as you're cutting. You almost need a third set of hands sometimes. And we're just going to keep cutting that plastic off just like that okay. and trickiest part is this plant here just because it's got lots of leaves that overhang the plant and you can always do a first cut and then come back around do a finer cut if you think you need to or in this case the leaves just cover it up nicely so I'm just tucking that in so nobody notices it. Okay, and then the last little section is right here. So I'm just gonna, once again, take my scissors and give that a little cut. Okay, and there you go. So this is now a completed planter. And like I said, this is something you can set outside on your porch. This is also something you can uh, set on a coffee table. It was very inexpensive to make. The basket I already had, but you can always get one from the dollar store. The tulips, I actually got on sale. A lot of the grocery stores are starting to carry them for about $3 a piece. And the primrose, it was three for $10. Also, again, something you can pick up at your local grocery store or at your garden, local garden center. So these are just some nice spring things that you can add for your home. I hope everybody enjoyed that and uh, I hope that uh, you'll watch my next video. Thank you and have a great day.